Elkhart took a look at Germany, and there was a company called the Mystery Fog Nozzle Company. Well, Elkhart came back and engineered this nozzle, and they called it the Mystery Nozzle. It's twisted shut off, just like on a garden hose. And um, when they went to flow this, and in those days there were no flow meters, so what they had to do was discharge into a 55-gallon drum, and uh, then they would measure the water, they would time it, they would measure, weigh the water to see how much the flow was. Well, at 50 pounds nozzle pressure, which is what the smoothbores operate at, they found out that this thing really flowed about 40 gallons a minute. Not enough, not enough for an attack. So they didn't know what to do. They had the nozzle, they had the patterns, they had everything ready to go, and, uh, and now they had to come up with a different design. And one of the engineers came up and said, why don't we double that nozzle pressure? So they started operating this at 100 pounds, and they found out that it flowed 95 gallons a minute at 100 pounds. You always wonder why inch and a half nozzles were rated 95 at 100. That's because that's what this nozzle flowed at 100 pounds nozzle pressure.